Yo, what is good everybody and welcome back to the Prestige Draft League. It is week four and my Costa Rican Rotoms. Oh man, I just I actually just got done uh, a little fourth wall break and I actually just got done um, recording the DTC Draft League battle. And I just um, I, I and now I'm thinking to myself, did I say Costa Rican Rotoms in that video? I guess I guess you guys will know before I do. That's not true, because I'll be editing it right after this. But anyways, our week four matchup pits up pits us up against our same opponent that we fought in week one, Lamborito, the creator of the draft league. Now let's talk about it. Why is this happening? Because uh, at the end of week three, yeah, no, at the end of week two, um, I think like four, maybe th it was definitely two, but either three or four people uh, dropped out of the draft league due to uh, time restraints. And I think a couple of them, some of them, one guy was actually just mad salt that he kept losing. Like, it was only two weeks in, bro, and you, you were mad that you lost two games. Like, it happens. But anyway, uh, yeah, a lot of people quit. Um, so Lamborito took it upon himself to restructure the schedule. To He basically just re-randomized it and just only fit in all the teams that we currently have with us. Um, and funny enough, uh, we fought. We ended up fighting again. Did he do that on purpose? I don't know. I don't think he did it on purpose. But if he did, that, that's funny nonetheless. But um, either way... Um, we more or less have the same kind of game plan going into the week one matchup. He does know a little bit more than he did in that in in week one. Um, I think mainly because of the, our interview that we had at the end of the week one matchup, I gave him a lot of pointers on a team that could have beat me, and that and that uh, unlike he, I I the last time we played, he brought who did he bring? He brought Sylveon, um, Copperage, Runa Regis, Pillow Swine, Gastron, and Galissapod. I feel like he would swap out. I think he's going to bring Exodrill and, and Heal, Heliolisk this time around. Maybe AV Dropper. But I feel like he's going to bring Excadrill and Heliolisk this time around. So who would he swap out for that? Gastrodon was literally a non-factor. Even though, in theory, Gastrodon's pretty good. But for that matchup, because I got a, if you missed it in the week one matchup, go check it out. I got a late game sweep. I'm a champ here. And Gastrodon was literally a non-factor because it got critted. But uh, also as well... So I feel like he would maybe replace Gastrodon with with, uh, with Excadrill and possibly Pillow Swan with Heliolisk. Maybe those are the two. I would I would hope he doesn't bring Runarigus because I really just don't like that thing having the Trick Room option. I really don't. Um, and yeah, I, I, he definitely brings the Sylveon again and the Caparaja. Uh, those are really the only two that are for sure, in my opinion, coming. I would assume he brings Runarigus just because it's a really good Pokemon. But uh, anyway, these are the, this, is the, this is the team we have uh, for us. Uh, we got our ham sandwich, Choice Specs ham sandwich, was actually debating on running Scarf, but I'm just going to run with Choice Specs. Uh, Shadow Ball, Draco Media, Flamethrower, U-Turn. Actually, let's look at the team like this instead. It's a lot easier to do. Yeah, anyway. And then we got our Grassman, just in case he does end up being Gastrodon. That Leaf Storm, Grassman is the only thing that can handle it, barring a critting Machamp. Man, it feels like we've been here before. Um, also rocking, bro, game, can you calm down? Bro, I'm literally not touching my controller. The game is doing this. All right, we also got Will-O-Wisp on our Grassman to burn said physical attackers like Excadrill, like Copperaja, like, uh, insert physical attacker here, Glissapod, I guess. Um, well, Mandibuzz, max defense with Rocky Helmet to eat up those Dynamax hits from the Copperaja as well as possibly an Excadrill. I don't know what a Rock Slide does to this thing from an Excadrill. Not gonna lie, I don't know if it's that much. We got a different kind of Bree Bree than we brought in week one. It's, it's the exact same... It's the exact same Gardevoir, but we're rocking four attacks with Assault Vest to, for sure, 1v1 the Sylveon. I I didn't run any calcs, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say we definitely 1v1 a Sylveon before Assault Vest. We're also rocking a different item on our Machamp right here. We're rocking Weakness Policy over Scope Lens. Um, we may or may not be getting a bulk up. If we, if we get in on a burn Pokemon, we're still going to bulk up every time. Um, and then we're going to Dynamax the next turn. But this is basically here so that we could possibly 1v1 Sylveon if it comes down to the end of it. Because I remember in the interview, I, I, I told him that you always got to keep Sylveon healthy just because of its viability against most of my team. Uh, so he may or may not remember that, and he may or may not listen to that advice. And if he does, uh, we keep on with Champ as healthy as we possibly can. We Dynamax. We should definitely live um, a Pixie Plate boost, boosted Hyper Voice or whatever. And then we could Revenge Kill with our D-Max Poison Jab. 
after we get plus two, because Sylveon's probably faster than us, I, I think. I actually don't remember. Um, Machamp speed is 55, Sylveon 60. Yes, yeah. A base Sylveon is faster than a base Machamp, and I'm not running any speed on this thing. As well as a dedicated lead in Fabuki to Will O Wisp, whatever he leads off with, and a set spikes or to taunt. We have I have our options open. Oh, uh, that's basically the team. Literally the exact same team that I'm bring that I brought in week one. Just uh, different items on two of the Pokemon. Uh, maybe Mach I think actually yeah I think Rotom was holding Wide Lens over Leftovers. Possibly I should give him that. So he doesn't miss his will o -Wisp, but, you know, it is what it is. If he misses, he misses. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen, knock on wood. Uh, but anyway, that's the intro. Uh, I'm going to hit up Lamborito, get the code, and I'll see you all in a little bit. All right, and we found my man Lamborito. Man, oh man. He has a very good chance at winning this one, man. He had a good chance at winning the last one as well. But this one, I feel like he's, he's you know, he knows more about how I like the battle. Like I said, I gave him a little bit of ice in our last interview that we did at the end of week one. Uh, I, honestly, I honestly like his chances here. I'm going to say good luck, have fun prematurely. Just because I'm a guy, and I like to do things like that. Uh, I, guess, I think he's deciding the battle rules right now, which doesn't matter. It's always the same rules, single battle, normal rules. Uh, but yeah, man, I think I'm leading off with Frostlast, depending on what he brought. Let's see what's different. Let's see if he brings the exact same team like I did. Uh, we were talking earlier in the week about just, just we were just hanging out. And I was all like, yeah, dude, I'm probably going to bring the exact same team as last, last time. And he's all like... Ah, I want to believe you, but I don't. And I was like, yeah, dude, I, I most likely am. Like, my game plan really doesn't change. Even though he knows it, I, like, I feel like, like, how does he stop it? And that's going to be the fun part. He's figuring out at, if he if he can stop it. Honestly, you know, a part of me, like, I always want to win. I never want to lose, obviously. But a part of me would be pretty happy if he won. I'm not going to lie. A part of me would be pretty happy if he won. Because then that means he adapted, you know what I mean? He learned from his mistakes, and he, you know, he, he adapted and became better. So I feel like that would, that would, be, that would honestly make me feel pretty good about myself uh, for being able to help him out like that. Um, what music are we using? Let's use, let's use Rose. I like Rose's music. All right, it's his, Rose, his music is like the Dark Souls music. It's like, All right, let's see who he brought. He brought Heliolisk and Excadrill over... Gastrodon and Pillow Swine. All right, kind of, kind of like we thought. Now, who does he lead off with now? Because his dedicated lead was Pillow Swine. His dedicated lead very well might be Runarigus. It very well might be Runarigus. Um, with that being said, I'm going to Fabuki, and he might want to Stealth Rocks turn one or Trick Room, or just get a, get a nice fat attack off. I think either way, I'm just going to taunt it. Like I said, he does know this game plan if he leads off Runarigus, because I talked about it in the week one video, and I'm assuming he's watched that. I'm assuming he's watched that because he's talked about it before. Look at this music, bro. If you can hear it. I don't know if you can how well you can hear it, but it's good music. But anyway, let's see if he let off with Rune. He let off with Puzzle? That's the Rune. Alright, so we're taunting. Is he Power Herb, though? Ooh, or whatever herb ignores taunt. You know what? He just might be. I'm going to opt to Will-O-Wisp instead of Taunt. I should Taunt, though. Yeah, I guess if he's Taunt, then I find out his item. If he's if he, if he he's Power Herb. Let's find out. Let's find out together, guys. Is he Power Herb? He is not. All right, sick. We block his Stealth Rocks. Let's get a fat Will-O-Wisp off on something. Hopefully this. And we get it off on this. Let's go. Pretty decent turn one and two for us. Not going to lie. Uh, and he's going to go for Nightshade. Not bad. Not bad. Um, so that's going to be a three-hit KO. Um, we're going to go for Ice Beam now to get some good damage on this thing. Um, possibly on a switch in. I don't know. I kind of want to go for a spike. I might go for a spike. That's some good damage. Nightshade again. Do I go for a... S Actually, I can kill this and then go for a spike next turn. Your leftovers? Did we not see leftovers activate last round? Last turn? I feel like I didn't. Unless I just didn't see it. Look. Okay, we actually can't go for Spike here because I don't want him to Stealth Rock. So I'm just going to go for an Ice Beam and kill him. Hopefully we can we can set up a Spike on something else. Um, I don't think an Aqua Jet or first... Actually, you know what? It probably does. I was going to say, I don't think an Aqua Jet or a first impression from a Galissapod kills us from this range. Uh, but it might. 
It looks like we're not going to be able to get hazards up in this this matchup, which is a little bit up, which is a little bit upsetting. But we got rid of the runes. Threat number one's eliminated. Frost last kills Renarigus, so that's pretty cool. I am recording, and now we just wait for this man to select Rango, which is extra. It's this thing. Uh, so this thing is most likely choice specs. Uh, do I do I value preserving Fubuki? I don't think so. Yeah, I really don't think so. What do I go out into after this? Probably Grassman. Uh, we're going to... Uh, I guess in the off chance... I guess I could use damage on this. I guess in the off chance he goes for a setup move. I'm gonna spike. Oh, we're faster. Sick. I get a spike off. So I could've got damage on this thing. Possibly froze it. Uh, but we're just gonna go for a spike. He goes for Thunderbolt. So we don't know if he's choice locked into that. Either way, I feel like I go out on a Grassman. And, uh, Will-O-Wisp. Because he could hyper-voice me. AV is good here. Ham Sandwich is also good here. I feel like I Oko with Draco Meteor. Uh, but we're going to go out on a Grass Man. Maybe I go out into him in U-Turn. Because he's not Scarfed. Maybe I get U-Turn Chip on him. I could do that. And then go to Grass Man. But his Grass Man eat up two Thunderbolts that are Specs. We're just assuming he's Specs here. You know, we got to just go in assuming he's Specs. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's get Ham Sandwich involved. He literally didn't see the matchup at all in week one. So let's just get him involved. Go for a U-turn. Make him assume that we're physical. Um, and then Flamethrower probably Oko is here, actually. Let's see. What do we have written down here? Flamethrower, Oko's Heliolisk. Yeah. We actually do Oko Heliolisk with Flamethrower. I'm going to opt to U-turn, though, uh, assuming he's going to switch. Okay, no. He actually stays in. So that does some decent damage. Now we're going to find out if he specs or not. If he just went for Thunderbolt, he specs. If he went for Dark Pulse, then he's not. That's basically what's uh, what's what we're learning here. So we're going to go for a uh, Grass Man switch in. Grass Man! Uh, he's actually our only Pokemon... Okay, he just went for Thunderbolt. So he could have just killed with Flamethrower. But as you can see, that does literally nothing. Uh, so hopefully he is specs. That makes me believe he's not, though. That damage. I feel like specs would have done more. Um, I want to go for a Nasty Plot. Uh, I kind of want to go for a nasty plot. Not gonna lie, but I also value a burn on either the Copperage or the Excadrill or the Sylveon. Yeah, let's go for the burn. He withdraws. Go on Excadrill, please. Excadrill, e Mango Pod. Oh, that's Galissa Pod. Is he Lumberry? Is he Lumberry? Let's find out. Please burn. Please, 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 please. Yes, we land. Let's go. We did not need the wide lens. Let's go. All right, now is he Lumberry? My leftovers went first because I think I'm faster. We still don't know if he's Lumberry or not. He's not Lumberry. Let's go, dude. I think he's AV. He's most likely AV. We're going to find out based on this damage right here. Actually, I'm on Nasty Plot. Yeah, because I resist. Oh, he has first impression. But he can only go for it once. And I don't think I die to that. I'm on a Nasty Plot. Hold up. I don't think I die to first impression. First impression. It's it's strong. Yeah, I don't die to that. Alright, good. Sick nasty plot. Unfortunately, now we have to volt switch. We don't have to volt switch, I guess. I guess I could go for another one. Or I could predict the double. I could predict I could predict the double out into Excadrill and Will-O-Wisp. Does he go out into Excadrill here? I feel like he would. That's a really good play if he does. Uh, but I guess I can, if it's not Mold Breaker, I can just burn that as well. Let's Volt Switch. Yeah, he stays in. This probably won't kill if he's AV. It actually almost picks up the kill. Oh, it makes up, okay, now it definitely picks up the kill, because we got a spike up, his emergency exit's been activated. And we're going to get to see what he goes out and do first, but we're going to get a free switch in a, to a counter. Let's go. We can still burn the Copper Raja. That's also, that's also what we need to take away from this. He goes out on a tank, which is the Copper Raj. Uh, so we go out on a Mandibuzz. Wait, did our Volt Switch not go through? Wait a minute. Volt Switch didn't activate. Wait a minute. Wait, what? What? I went for Volt Switch. Emergency exit blocks Volt Switch? I'm Willow Wisping. I mean, I get the free Willow off. Hopefully, I can land. And hopefully, he's not Lumberry either. 
That was so weird. Why did emergency exit block my will o -Wisp? I mean, block my vote switch. That was weird. Alright, Grassman, please land. Grassman, you can land. Grassman, you can land. Grassman. No! Steel surge. Oh no, the steel spikes. Alright, we get a second chance. We get a second chance. Huh. We get a second chance, guys. We get a second chance. He is life orb. Alright, my man's learning. I, I advised him on running life orb last time instead of running uh, whatever he was running last time. I can't remember what it was. But uh, Will-O-Wisp it is. Are we heavy duty boots on our band of us? I think we are. Alright, we land the second Will-O-Wisp. Let's go. I don't know if this will let us live this one. It's a little too... Oh, and we live... Wow, we're going to be able to stall out all the turns of Dynamax, actually. And we're going to be able to preserve our, our, our guy here. Our guy here. You know, I could have brought Rotom Heat. I could have brought Rotom Heat. But I had to bring this thing for Gastrodon. But yeah, I could have brought Rotom Heat. So we're going to be able to get a plus two Volt Switch off. We're still plus two, right? Bro, I can't believe it didn't make me swap. Yeah, we're still plus two. I'm pretty, I'm pretty curious to see how much this is going to do. Hashtag bars. So he's burned. I did some decent damage, not going to lie. I guess I go out on the Wamanda Buzz here. Yep, yeah, Wamanda Buzz. Oh, I'm Rocky Helmet. I'm not Heavy Duty Boots. So this might hurt a bit. It's not super effective. It's just steel. Oh, I'm talking about the steel stealth rocks that he set up. Yeah. So they did, they did dig into me a bit. Ooh, and he sets the sun for Heliolisk. All right, I like it. So he's not going for the Excadrill sweep. He's going for the Heliolisk sweep. Wait, is Heliolisk still alive? I think he is, actually. Let me check. We'll check after this. Uh, I feel like he would stay in, though. Um, let's check. Uh, Heliolisk is very much still alive. So is Excadrill. Uh, and so is Sylveon. Okay, so I really don't want... Oh, I don't have Defog. It's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I'm gonna knock off. Um, hopefully he goes on. He does go on to Heliolisk. That's unfortunate. Knocked off his life orb. He's going for play rough. No crits, please. No crits. Let's go. And uh, believe it or not, we're actually going to stall out uh, his... Okay, yeah. He got hurt by Rocky Helmet. So, yeah. Please don't please don't die. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. I wanted to be able to roost so I could stall out his... Uh, so I could knock off his Heliolisk. Had the highest chance of being able to knock out his Heliolisk. Uh, but he's going to be able to go out into it right now. Freely. Uh, gets hurt by Spikes. Um, good news is Dragapult still one-shots this thing. Um, so I guess we're just gonna knock off now. We probably die to this. Most likely. It's Choice Specs so uh, Solar Power Boosted. Well, Mandibuzz is down. Yeah, Solar Power Boosted. Alright, so he still has Excadrill and Sylveon and Galissapod left. Uh, do we go out in a Bribri here? Or do we just go out in a Ham Sandwich and claim a life? Uh, I think we go on a ham sandwich to claim a life. Flamethrower does good to everybody here, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. So, he might be Scarfed Exegil, but I don't think Scarfed Exegil Oko's me. Ooh, maybe after Steel Stealth Rocks it does. Um, let's go for a Flamethrower. Wait a minute. He's not Dry Skin. We're in the sun, though. This is gonna kill. We're in the sun. Thank you for the sun, my dude. This Flamethrower should kill. We are Specs. That gets the kill. If he goes on to Excadrill here, that's okay, honestly. Because I'm just going to Flamethrower. I don't know if he kills me. Uh, if he's Scarfed with Earthquake. I don't think so. I'm going to go ahead and say no. But I could be wrong. Uh, I guess we'll see from right now if he goes on to it. He goes on to Valerie, which is definitely Sylveon. Yup. Um, so, do I value a Sun-boosted Flamethrower on this thing? I kind of do. I kind of do. Because, like, what's our other play here? I guess we can go hard out into... Uh, what's her face? Gardevoir? But I kind of want damage on this thing. I want to see how much a sun-boosted flamethrower from a choice specs Dragapult does. Let's find out together. Hyper Voice? This is going to kill me. 
Yep. All right, that's fine. I want to see how much the damage was. So that was a crit. Crit might have mattered. Not gonna lie, it probably didn't. But uh, all right, so now we have our Pokemon left. The sunlight has faded, and he has Galissapod, Excadrill, and this left. Um, I want to say we go out into. I need to keep. I actually need to keep paying for the Excadrill. So we actually go out into Bribri here. Galissapod just dies on switching because of its because of the spikes. Uh, Bree Bree, we go out into Bree Bree. Yep, go out into Bree Bree. Hundred percent. And uh, we go for Psy Shock. We definitely go for a Psy Shock. Even if he wants. To Ooh. I forgot about the Steel Stealth Rocks. That actually did a lot of damage to me. Uh, we definitely go for Psy Shock. Hopefully we outspeed. I think we outspeed. We do outspeed. Psy Shock might not pick up the kill. Uh, almost picks up the kill. He goes. He goes Hyper Voice. Okay. We live in that because of our AV. Let's go. We still don't know if he's Pixie Plate or. Uh, choice Specs. I'm assuming he's Pixie Plate because Keliolisk was definitely Choice Specs. Uh, we pick up the kill on the Sylveon. Now he could freely go out and Excadrill here and either set up a Swords Dance or just Iron Head to kill me. If he Iron Heads to kill me, I then, I then go out on a Champ and I think I'm good from there. Uh, and then I just Dynamax and uh, G Max Strike. Oh, he goes out on the Clay. Yo, shout out to the Pokemon Black 2 Gym Leader Lock where we just fought Clay uh, a few episodes ago. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna Mystical Fire in the off chance that he wants to set up a sword Dance. Uh, this Mystical Fire would do a decent amount of damage. And yeah, let's see what he goes for. He goes for Iron Head, he lands. I don't know if Iron Head can miss, actually. And, uh, we die. Um, and now we go out to Machamp, and I think we got it from here. Oh wow, it's literally just Machamp and Grass Man. Yeah, I think we got it from here. We're not gonna be able to activate our weakness policy, which is a little bit upsetting. Uh, but we will, we will nonetheless, unless he has, nah, there's nothing this man could have that could do that to me. Uh, so we are going to Dynamax and G-Max Cheese Strike. Yeah, that's our play here. Alright, sick. Uh, we, he definitely outspeeds us. He can't flinch us with Iron Head because we're Dynamax, so that's good. Um, he could get a crit, I suppose, but we're max HP. So I like our odds here, is what I'm saying. I like our odds here. Hulk smash! Alright, pain. Bring it, bring it, pain. Bring the pain, ready. Let's see if we can get another clean up with Machamp. Machamp typically cleans up here. Iron Head, that's a crit. He's banded. My man's banded. Yo, hold up. Okay, we win. Yay! So yeah, that was that was fun. That was really fun. That was fun, man. All right, so yeah, Mango Pod's gonna come in, die to the spikes, just like last time. You'll really love to see it. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be the match, man. Lamborito, GG's to Lamborito. Um, we are going to be able to get an interview with Lamborito because he really wants to, and I really want to as well because we did, we did in week one. Actually, so far he's the only, he's the only opponent, uh, in the PDL that we've been able to get an interview with. So that's actually kind of funny. But yeah, basically same outcome as week one, except for I think. We had more Pokemon Alive last time, but I will see you all when the interview takes place and we'll talk more about this match. <clears throat> Alright, so yet again, we were able to snag an interview from our man Lamborito, the only one we've been able to interview thus far in the PDL. How you doing, man? Uh, okay. <laughs> so, um, I see you kind of learned from week one. Took a little bit of uh, the advice I gave you in the last interview we had. You brought ex you actually brought Excadrill and Heliolisk. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so, what were, were you expecting anything different from me? Because I, I, I even said in the video, uh, we were talking earlier in the week, I mentioned that I was bringing the exact same team against you. Did you think I, I was lying? No, I didn't think you were lying because I felt that I was just, uh... <clears throat> <clears throat> My bad. It's all good. Uh, so I was just, like, didn't know really what to bring, and I also kind of forgot to bring Earthquake on Caparaja for the Sandstorm setup. Uh, he actually sets it up with Rockfall. G Max. Yeah, I didn't. The yeah, I didn't. Move. I forgot to put Rock Move on it. So. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what also what I was. I was saying in the video. I was all like, so he opted to go for Max Flare instead of instead. Of, like I was like, oh, he's going for Heliolisk instead of Exegil is what I is like the. Yeah, I went for Heliolisk, but I kind of forgot to. Yeah. So actually, the only thing different I was running on my team was different items. Uh, my Gardevoir had Assault Vest so that I could 1v1 Sylveon. 
And then Machamp actually had a weakness policy. If it came down to Machamp versus Sylveon, I was hopefully going to win that matchup. So that was that was that was really the only difference I had here. I think mm -hmm. I think Mandibuzz still had Rocky Helmet. I'm actually uh, my Rotom Mo had leftovers instead of wide lens this time. So that one miss with Will O Wisp didn't end up mattering, but we did miss with Will O Wisp once due to no having wide lens. So it's a little unfortunate. Yeah, my yeah. plan really was to like. So like you taunted me, I should have I should have known you're a taunt, so I should have clicked Nightshade. Yeah, I actually even mentioned that in the video as well because I was all like, so he told me he was watching Week One a lot, and I very much mentioned about leading off with Frostlass against Runarigus and taunting it Turn One no matter what. So I was all like, uh, so I was actually like, is, is what is he running Power Herb to stop that and go for Trick Room? Is he is he just predict that and go for a straight up attack? I want like I didn't really know your game plan, but I thought my safest bet either way was just to taunt and then burn the next mm -hmm. turn. And then hopefully get some good chip damage with Ice Beam and then possibly be able to set up a spike. And I was actually surprised that Heliolisk didn't outspeed uh, Frostlass. Is that like natural? Is that like a natural thing that happens? I am running Timid Nature max speed. Okay, as am, as am I on my Fubuki. So I guess I guess I just naturally... Like, what's your what's your speed stat? Are you, you level 177. Are you level 100 or 50? Level 50. Oh, okay. Never mind that. I can't, I can't tell my speed stack because I'm level 100. But yeah, so I guess I guess Frostlass just naturally outspeeds Heliolisk, which threw me off. I guess so. I was glad I got as that spike up. I, as soon as I used, uh, when I used Hyper Voice on on your uh, Gardevoir, I was like, yeah, it's over. <laughs> as soon as it came down to that, because I'm pretty sure I could have, with the HP you're at from the spike, so I'm pretty sure it would have one shot if it wasn't Assault Vest. That is, no, no, that is very true. That's why I rocked Assault Vest, because last time we went against each other, I, I brought... Uh, Max Bedef Gardevoir in order to 1v1 Sylveon and it didn't work. So I was like, well, I bet if I slap an Assault Vest on that girl, it'll work. So And and I, get, and, and I didn't really mm -hmm. 1v1 it because I got chip damage on it with something. Yeah. Oh, something I wanted to mention. What, what, do you know, why did Rotom Moe's Volt Switch not Volt Switch him out? Do you know? I have no clue. Because yeah, like, like your emergency exit activated on Glissopod and then it didn't make me Volt Switch. I know. I was like, what the hell happened? Like, what is this? It's like, is that an actual mechanic that emergency exit blocks Volt Switch for some reason? I didn't, I did not know that. And I was like, well, I was like, wait a minute. I should be Volt Switching out of here. And I'm actually like, it was actually pretty clutch that I didn't get Volt Switched out of there. Cause I was all like, I need to get Rotom Mo in safely on Caparaja so I can burn it. Cause that, he, that was the only Pokemon I had left that could burn things because we had a, or a God of War had an Assault Vest and mm -hmm. Fubuki was gone or Frostlass was gone. So I was like, I was like, what is going on? So I'm assuming um, your Heliolisk was Specs. Yeah. And your Exodule was Banded, yeah? Yep. Ah, that, I was like, I was like, there's no way that Iron Head did that much to a G-Max Machamp if it wasn't Banded. Yeah. Yeah, that would have actually been pretty clutch if you could have got the uh, I, I, Sandstorm up. Yeah, because I would have wanted... If this was just, I mean, I would rather have gotten a sword stance up and then been able to lay your head, but I yeah. needed something to do with uh, whatever, because Escadrome, I'm pretty sure, can live a flamethrower. I went I and went with Mystical Fire on Gardevoir when you brought Excadrill in, just in the off chance that you did set up a sword stance. So it would have done a little bit of chip damage, and I think a Specs, uh, what's it called? I think a Specs Dragapult would have uh, would have killed with flamethrower, but not if. Maybe not in the sand, and you and you would have outsped me. So, maybe mm -hmm. not. And you were plus two. So yeah, maybe maybe not. Who knows? Who knows? I guess we'll never know. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I actually forgot but, to put defog on my mandibuzz as well. So that was a little. I actually, I'm gonna need that mandibuzz set. Because, <laughs> that's just max. I'm, that's max defense, max HP, impish nature. That's all that is, dude. <laughs> is that really all it is? That's really all it is. I he's he's literally she's literally here. To eat up any physical attacks. I have a special defense mana buzz as well. If I go up against somebody that I am think is going to be running a lot of special attackers. But yeah, max defense, max HP, impish nature mana buzz. This is the way to go. I have to think I'm running because I'm in a, uh, I'm a, I have a mono type flying team. So. Oh yeah, mana buzz is going to be good there. Mm-hmm. Mana buzz is going to be great there. So, I mean, I had fun this week. Not the outcome I wanted. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. But it'd be like I that sometimes. Forgot about kind of forgot about the draft league not gonna like because i joined this other discord and i'm like a flying type gym leader so how's how's I that been i know that's i i was a ghost type gym leader for a facebook group a while ago but i dropped out of that it's actually been really fun i honestly like enjoy it you so, make a gym badge for yourself yet they just 
No, the, it will make the gym badge. Just give they just have one already there. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And then just put it on your name or whatever. So. But yeah, I actually just got done recording my other draft league video. Uh, well, this will come out after that, so spoilers. I won. <laughs> huh. But yeah, but you know, surprise. I actually, I actually brought Rune Regis because I have Rune Regis in the other draft league. I actually brought him uh, in that matchup. <laughs> and, and if you want to, if you want to watch it when it comes out on Saturday, uh, it's uh, yeah, yeah. He, I'm not. He didn't do anything, but it was fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. Um, Definitely have to uh, overthink. Ne think ne about next week. Well, actually, I think I have a bye next week. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know who I'm going against next week, but I don't really look that look that uh, far ahead into any of my battles because mm -hmm. I, you know, like to prepare it week by week. Yep. Same here. But uh, yeah, different week, same outcome. I think you killed more Pokemon this time around, though. <laughs> yeah. Dragapult actually was able to go out on the field, so I was happy about that. <laughs> Last time I, I faced you, he literally didn't see he didn't see the, the battlefield at all. So I'm actually nope. pretty glad that he got to at least even get a kill on Heliolus too. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I guess that's it, man. Thanks for joining the interview. Uh, no problem. Thanks for having me in the interview. Yeah, dude, no problem. This was uh, this was fun. I'm looking forward to the rest of this league as well. Hopefully, Same. I can hopefully I can just go undefeated. And hopefully, I can. Win a game. <laughs> you got you got what one or two under your belt, right? Yeah, I'm one and four. Oh no, one and three. I said yikes. Yeah, so you'll I'm get, just gonna have to start clutching there. up here. You'll get there. You got the you got the team that can do it. That's for sure. Just gotta make better plays. But all right, yep, we're gonna head out of here. I'm gonna edit these videos and post them tomorrow and Sunday, and I'll uh, I'll get I'll just get out of here. All right, see you, man. Have a good day. Peace. You too.